Howdy folks, what's going on? It's your boy, the G Flash, and welcome back for some more fake content. Uh, before I introduce my panel tonight, let me just say happy 4th of July to my American buddies out there. Anyway, tonight we've got the second summer banner, and I'm joined by a gigantic panel tonight. So we've got Tatiana Masterlong, Kaoli, Samir, GDK, and Kandog the Yoshi main. Hello. What's Hello. up? Hello. Happy, happy yeah, this is, a, this is a giant panel, so let's see uh, what units are going to be getting the boot out of this. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, um, yeah. So, um, from the thumbnail, I could sort of guess what's going to happen, but let's still see. So let's check it out. Three, two, one, play the trailer. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? here? All right. Replenishing Tropic Hue. Special Hero Battle. Is that Erica? Oh, Whoa! Oh, it's Erica. It's Erica, yeah. It's Erica. Erica. Nice. Another Erica, huh? She can, she can join Tana. Wow. And don't forget Liz. She's fine. Thank you, Tana. There she is. Oh. She's got Moonlight oh, Bang Balls! What?! Neo okay, God. so He's another... Another person has got their legendary skill. Wait, no, I'm sorry, no, Brave skill. Um, no, what?! No. Niffle?! Niffle. <laughs> really? Hello? For the Lady Niffle. I will show you. Uh, <laughs> was not she's that, she's that, she's that, she's that. Wow. She's that, she's... All you gotta say about Niffle is, she's gonna die. Oh. Okay. But did you see the artwork though? She looked like. <laughs> oh I'm not, yeah. I I'm not pull, I don't pull any punches here. I see farther. My neurons activate. Oh, yeah. Hello, oh, Leon. Leon. Watching everyone enjoying themselves <clears throat> by the seaside. I oh, Yo, this is awesome. Oh, I want him. Summer so Leon. Okay. And he's the demo unit. Oh wait. He's got hey, low attack and defense. Oh, that's good. Look. Hey, isn't shot. this our uh, fourth uh, Leon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yo, look at this right here. All right. So composure. It is merely a beach. Four and Loki. Four and Loki. That is to remember. Whoa. I have something that I have. Breaker? World Breaker? I get oh. I get to use Crusher. Oh, Sounds like a music based. Oh, I love she that she's oh, got crap. Lift, Thrasir, and Surter on the team. Hmm. What a very wholesome team. Oh yeah. Quote that. I I'm sure there will be nothing oh, devious in that. Uh, -huh. uh did, you, did you guys see the, uh, the stats were put on those units? Uh, oh yeah, it's all the special it. status, yeah. Okay. Wow. That is Very okay. interesting cool banner this it's time. Sacred Stones and Heroes base, that's neat. No, oh, it's Seth! Oh look, it's Seth. Yeah, it's Seth, right near Erica. That's and yeah, Leon is gonna be sure the four star. I'm glad for that. Wait. Uh oh, he's an axe unit. You know what this means again? Get the gun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get the father gun again. Okay. So we got sacred stones and heroes this time around, which is a pretty good combo, I will say. So let's go over the units. So first off, we've got Summer Erica. And wow, it's so... It's very refreshing to see Erica in a swimsuit, though. So that means oh, next year we're gonna get Ephraim in his swimsuit. No, 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 please don't do that, because then, uh, oh god, the memes for people that uh, brings out summer ends. <laughs> well, uh, at least you can make Ephraim, like, jacked uh, with his abs and muscles like Demetrius. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Because, you know, the, the ladies needs to see some 
abs on, you know, handsome looking man. Too, you know. well, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that they haven't done Rioma yet. Then. <laughs> yeah. One day. Anytime yeah. soon. Okay. Okay. Do, anyway, Erica is a green mage flyer, so she's got a carrying conch. It's got a slang effect. If units within two spaces or initiate combat, all stats plus five. Uh, neutralizes effect that prevents units fall up to. Okay, so have no fall up. Inflict guard and also after combat, if she attack, inflict guard on target and falls within two spaces. Okay, so oh. all stats plus five, slang effect, half no fall up, guard, and then guard smoke, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't you mean pulse smoke? Not well, I mean, yeah, but I yep. still, it feels like guard to me, yeah. Yeah. It's guard mm. smoke. Okay, yep, so, so she's also got Luna. The Luna, steady, steady impact. Moonlight, wait, Moonlight Bangle F? Oh, just kidding. This is, this is a new. Uh, this is a different version than her brave skill. So let's see what Moonlight Bango F does. So it has Canto one, and then neutralizes effect that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on you during combat. Deals damage equal X percent of foes defense when special triggers. X equal units maximum special cooldown times 10 plus 20. Okay, so wow. Canto 1, Tempo, and then dealing damage based on the percent of, of foe's defense when she triggers specials. And it basically maximum special count times 10 and then plus 20. So that means a lot of damage right there. <laughs> Pretty good amount of damage, especially with that Luna. Uh huh. Exactly. Attack speed oh, four and now. then we got attack speed oh, 04. Okay, so old skills are getting their tier 4 version. So let's see what the 4 version does. So at start of turn, if she's within, if units within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus 6. And the following status to a unit for one turn. Unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces. And if units within two spaces of an ally grants attack speed plus three to unit during combat. Plus nine. Wow, okay. So you get the okay. attack speed plus invisible buff on yourself, and then you get the guidance effect, I think. And then you yep. get attack speed plus three to yourself during combat. Yeah, okay, and, uh, that's a pretty also, good upgrade to the tier also, three old skills. Oh one yeah, this is this is a really good one. Um, if I recall correctly, the old skills go to both flyers and um, infantry, I believe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a few infantry units that could really use this for their. For their shenanigans. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. especially yeah, the that's... ones that needs to be near their allies. Also, G, um, we also know her stats as well. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, where is it? At? Oh, yep, that's I found it. Okay, I found it. Um, now we have to subtract the uh the buff from the oath skill. So attack. If you subtract that, then she's got thirty nine HP, fifty three attack. Uh, 42 speed, uh, 25 yep. defense, yep. and 22 resistance. Which is pretty, <laughs> pretty good. It's very offensive, pretty much. She's an offensive mage. Oh, yeah. Yep, and this is like, what, her uh, second form as a uh, mage now? Yeah, her second form as a mage after her Cavalier Red Tome one. From like three or four years ago. Well, at least we got the final. Uh, at least we got a green Erica now. Oh yeah, we got the green Erica. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, yep. we need a uh, now. We've got the sword Erica. We got the red tome Erica. We've got the brave lance Erica. We got the red sword legendary version. And now we also got the uh, Christmas variant of her, who's a healer. And now we finally got this one. So now we have all four colors. That's great. 
Yep. So she, she swore moonlight on air because scares me, gives me PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Uh -huh. did you... <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, Erica's a great unit though. Next up, we've got a unexpected unit to be a summer unit, and that's uh, the god of, goddess of ice herself, Niffle. And uh, uh, can, can, I, can I make the joke right quick on this one? Uh -huh. he here is the uh, Lady Dimitriscu of uh, of the summer heroes this year, oh folks. My god. Oh, my God. oh yeah, it does. I, it does look like Lady D. Yeah. I'm yep. Not and also, in case you guys didn't see the silhouette, uh, you guys should have known that she was going to be in here because she. Yeah, exactly. if, you saw, if you saw the snowflake design that she had in her hand in that silhouette, then it's because she's the only one to that. Plus, also uh -huh. at the same time, it makes it makes me worried here, folks. But there could be a chance that Moose Spell might be the uh, be summer uh, coming next summer. Oh <laughs> yeah, year. Moose Spell Maybe. is definitely gonna come next summer. Yep, he's either gonna do summer or basically do some kind of seasonal if Niffle's getting this treatment. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, uh, Niffle so is a colorless Cavalier Dragon, which I don't think we've ever had one before. Nope. So. Niffle is definitely the first one. All right, let's see what Niffle does now. So Niffle has got a chilled breath. It's got a slaying effect. If she initiates combat or within two spaces, grant attacks people six. Neutralizes effect that grants. Oh, so just full on no follow up. And then if her speed is greater than full speed by five, foe cannot counter attack. Okay, so. With Niffle, you just need to stack up a lot of speed on her, and then she basically has Sling Effect, uh, Attacks P plus 6, no follow-up, and then a uh, speed-based Fire Sweep. Or pretty much just Fire <laughs> Wind Sweep, or Fire Sweep in general. Mm. Yeah. So that's well, good, because that means Niffle can just attack someone, like, safely. Yep. And, and yep. Just the real, the real price of this here is speed res new trace thank you finally. yeah yeah finally we got the speed and res version of near trace so this uh near trace is probably going to be more equivalent to niffle here along with the flying dragons more or less i'm, I'm mm -hmm. absolutely giving this to some i would give this to some young people but i have orbs to save yeah, I mean, yeah, Summer Tiki will for sure benefit from this, uh, you know. And then she's got attack speed cat four, and then a domain of ice. Of course, a domain of ice is a is an amazing a uh, saucy supportive skill with the damage reduction. Mm. Well, it's a. Uh... It's a uh, pretty good. Now we can uh, now we can use her along with her uh, OG version. And oh bam, yeah, for you got sure. Quite a bit. Yeah. All right. So that's Niffle for you. Really awesome all by the way. Uh, and then next up, we've got the four star demo Leon Summer Leon, and uh, he's a sword infantry unit. And uh, of course, that class is pretty bloated. But let's see what he's got. So he's got Coral Saber Plus. So if unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally, grants attack and defense plus five, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Okay, so just guarantee follow-ups. That's at least good because I'm pretty sure Leon's gonna have low speed. I mean, just like his other versions oh, though. Oh. And then um, Moombo, attack defense, ideal three, and low attack and defense. So Leon is gonna be lol attacking defense fodder now. Yeah, but can, but let's uh, let's uh, talk about the cold saber here, folks. It's good on the sword infantry units or basically armored units here for those who who basically can get rid of quick repulse on them now. Mm -hmm. Go for it for the unit. Mm hmm. I know you got a part of the unit, but still, hey. I mean, the concern that this has got uh, got a guaranteed follow-up attack and a dang sword, 
It really will help out on some builds. Yeah, exactly. Just All makes right. me wonder how long it's going to be before they get the uh, normal one out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. All right. So, yeah, Leon's going to be... Uh, depending on his stats, he'll probably be, like, pretty min-max, I will say. So, if he turns out to be very min-max, a high attack, high defense, good resistance, and dumps all his speed, then he could be a good merch project for a mixed face uh, sword infantry unit, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. I've, uh, I've also, found some people that have absolutely been looking forward to this way on. Uh-huh. And I'm, I'm kind of glad for them, even though it's not, like, what they kind of expected, like, they could have wished there was not, like, a demo or something, but, hey, it's there. Well, yeah. I mean, this is basically the second uh, special Leon demo that we've had, considering the last one we had was young Leon. Please don't mm -hmm. remind me of that child. Oh, no. Yeah, well, he gotten... still, still has nightmares about that. But Oh, I still have nightmares about the banner, because I've gotten nothing from there. <laughs> well, <laughs> either way, I still think that's a very good thing, at least for those who like Leon very well. At least they can actually easily merge him if they get lucky enough. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Mm -hmm. I mean, even if some units don't have, like, uh, doesn't have a preferred weapon or whatever, we still got weapons here that basically can make them even stronger than, uh, than who knows. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, let's get to the cream of the crop. Oh, yeah. We get to Summer Thor with Loki. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, hold on. I forgot one thing. Um, Leon's weapon. Uh, Tempest Trial Unit. Tempest Trial Unit is going to have the same weapon as Leon. Just got to say that right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's it's going to have the same thing. Thor and Loki. By oh, yeah. Yeah, Thor and Loki. And also, I love how Loki is have, wielding a guitar in her hand. So, I didn't know Loki can play guitar. So that probably that just unique. makes people like her even more now. Well, let me just quick correct you. That's a ukulele. Oh, yeah. that's a ukulele. Oh my god, I I can't tell the difference. But I can't even tell the difference between a ukulele <laughs> and a guitar because they look the same to me. Those have oh, six. Yeah. Strings. Those have four strings. Okay, oh, okay. But, can we just agree that this Loki looks a lot better than the uh, spring variant of her? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Oh, At yeah, least they um, did pretty decent with her on this one. Uh huh. It's a, you don't have to get full on sense of walk. You just have to get mostly a sense of walk around. Uh huh. Okay, so let's see what they've got. So divine whimsy. I I like that that name right there. So accelerate special trigger cooldown. Okay, slang effect. Ask sort of turn inflicts. Okay, exposure and stall on foes on the enemy team with the lowest speed and any foes within two spaces of those foes through their next action. Also, if units within two spaces grants a special cooldown minus one to unit at, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25, gets the spend thrift effect, and exposure means foes attacks deal plus 10 damage. Wow. Yeah, wow. so you're going against if you're going against the other team, does that mean like if you have if they have this unit on their team, does that mean they all does that mean it's you or is it like the others that deal and damage as well? Uh so... Like, if you have this on the enemy team, does, does every single unit do plus 10 damage? I mean, it, it says foes attacks deal plus 10 damage, though. Um, any attack is 10 points the attack additional. Ah, I mean, she, I mean right. if she begin with. If you begin the attack with 70 attack, the attack is 80. Ooh, okay. 
Yeah, maybe Ph Phoenix will Ooh. probably put a TLDR breakdown of it, and that'll help us, like, understand a little better. <laughs> Alright, and then she's got, uh, she's got Blazing Thunder, still Water 4, so she inherited that from, uh, Bride Lilina, AR Far Trace, uh, and then World Breaker. And of course, we all know how insane World Breaker is. It's, uh, you literally just to. put anybody into spaces of Thor and then you do special ramp, pretty much. I Which is too good to be true. Oh, yeah, I for sure. There. Yeah, so, uh, Summer, Thor, and Loki are a pretty interesting unit, I will say. With their a new exposure, and unit. of course they inflict stall. And we all know stall is better as a status than a like a skill, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, honestly, the stall and the exposure basically does kind of comment on the on their personalities, because they're in the stall comes from Loki's staff, and the exposure comes from Thor. I hate that they they introduced that here. That's so. That's so <laughs> Yeah. Wait, the exposure? What do you mean? Yeah, and it was on the summer banner. My, oh my god. <laughs> also, we do know their stats. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Yep, found it. Right here. So, their stats we are... are... Gonna need... We're gonna need to uh, subtract some stuff again. No, we don't have to. Oh yeah, we do because you know she's got still water. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me do some math. All right. So. Okay. So uh, still water my... is basically Damn. like life and death, except it's attack and res minus the so, defense. So forty-five. Okay. So seven, HP still forty. Attack would be fifty-seven. Speed is pretty well sixteen. Defense twenty-five. Well, thirty. Twenty-one. Uh, so was, res would be 38. So she will have, four, yeah, 38 res and 43 attack, if I'm correct? Uh, 57. Oh, that is I with the weapon four, equipped in. Yeah, yeah, 57, 43 without the weapon. Okay. And then 30 defense, because of the still water, and still 16 wow. speed. Wow. Yeah. Which, I guess is pretty dang, it's understandable, because, I guess it's well... For obvious reasons. Uh -huh. I can't believe it. This is balanced. Yeah. So yeah, so it basically Summer Thor is just like her other version, uh very min max stat line dumps her speed pretty much. Yep. Alright, and then let's see what their uh duo skill is. Their duo skill is <laughs> inflict gravity on foes in cardinal directions of unit. Neutralize any bonus active on foes within five rows and four or five columns centered on the unit. Does not neutralize wow. stat bonus on foes inflicted with panic. Wow, but okay. still, that's pretty good. Inflicting gravity on your cardinal direction and neutralizing any bonus on the, the foes within five rows or this. five columns. Just take a look at the range on this. It's almost the entire map. Yeah, it is almost the entire map. You know what I think this this reminds me? This is kind of like Loki's refine, may blend it in with some more stuff. Basically, yeah, that's what they usually do. Because if you remember, I Loki's refine was if she had more HP, uh, she had more HP than a range opponent in the cardinal direction of her. She inflicts gravity on them. Mm -hmm. But except this time around is you don't need a HP check. You just as long as you're in the center and then you're in that cardinal direction of that any unit, boom, pop the dual skill and they get, you know, restricted their movement. Yep. Yeah. Good. Well, this is a this is a good uh, good dual skill right here. Okay. And then our free unit is actually. Yep, and then of course our free unit is gonna be Summer Seth. 
And I'm glad to see Seth. Seth, I don't think, ever got an alt ever since he was released in 2017. So, yeah. it's been five yeah. years. And honestly, Seth, should, I'm glad he got some love now. Because yeah. this guy is... I think he's a fan favorite. So, I'm glad that they put him out here. Yo, and uh, yeah, and since he's one of the more... Game he's game. one of the most That's important the, characters... I the entire reason why he is popular. Because... He's basically broken in Sacred Stones. Like, he just destroys everything. Secret oh, yeah. I heard someone say Sacred that... The, F, the Sacred... Just... I heard someone say Sacred Stone Seth is kind of like the... The Dusel that's in Faye right now. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, yeah. even at, at the lowest level, level one... He just destroys part, everything. He just wrecks he just everything in sight. He's, he's, you can think of it like Brawl Meta Knight. Oh man. Well, I mean, even if he's the one of the more important characters, then he should get a legendary all like Murr did. I mean, he's literally like a. I mean, I, Ephraim and Erica, they're the main characters. Seth is like a deuteragonist in a way, because mm -hmm. Seth is the loyal knight of Renee. So it no. should make sense that he'll get, he should get a legendary all or accented all, though. Like, I mean, Dude, no. why wouldn't you have this important guy, like, get another ult? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, give him a legendary ult that makes him just as broken like he is in Sacred Stones. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, or, look at what they did to um, accented Joshua. I mean, the base Joshua is n not bad, but he's not great as well. He's just okay. The summer one just, of course, got completely overshadowed. And then the Axander one came out. And look how broken that guy is. Like, he hits like a truck. He's literally had the gamble ut utility put into his dagger. And he's just a super fun unit. So if they made Joshua, like, that broken, then they can make another Seth that broken. Um, there's different ways that uh, that they go about it. I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, if, compared I mean, if they go, no, I mean, if they go the Joshua route as, as well with Seth, then oh, oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might um. Yep. Um. We don't oh, know. Yeah. Happen. Uh, now, of course, Seth is gonna have the same weapon at Leon, where he'll have attack and defense, and then he'll make a guaranteed follow-up attack. That's exactly okay. what he's gonna have, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all we know, all we know is Seth's 43 HP. That's all. Yeah, all, all we know, he's got high HP right now. And Axe Cavalier. And an Axe Cavalier. We got quite a few of Axe Cavalier. I mean, we just got one, like, a month ago, and, well... Well, a couple of days the last ago, one, and that's Xander. Was, what was the last uh, free one? All I can remember is Chris. Yeah, I think Chris was the last one. Was it? No, I think... Well... I'm not... I, I'm talking I, about... don't think, I don't think Chris was the last one, because we did get the... I don't know if the... Br no, I think... Groom? No, it was a bride one. Oh, Groom? What's his face? Um... Yeah, Groom. Roy? No, 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 no. Uh, no, I'm Groom. talking about free unit. Groom, um... Yeah, oh my gosh, what's his name? Yeah, He's from Binding Blade. I forgot what's his name. Tierra? Tierra? Yeah, Jared, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, uh... Oh wait, now that's a uh, that's an Emperor Three. Um, let's see, what is his name? Z uh, Zella. 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 Yeah, that's him. That's yeah. Zella. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was a he was the last cavalry axe that we got in the game. I mean, if you want to talk about cavalry cal um, axe units, uh, axe units, then the last one was uh, axe boy or in the uh, children's banner. No, 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 I was talking about no, like Xander. Legendary Xander was an axe cavalier, too. Yeah. yeah. I was actually talking about the Grails. Like, he's going to be in the Grails soon. And so that's why I said Chris. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, uh. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I think one thing for sure is that even if Seth's skills aren't that impressive, at least one thing I can tell from his sprite is that he's gonna have his abs shown. I mean, he's literally not wearing any shirt except for, I guess, some strap that's around him with something. So I'm pretty sure we can see his abs just like Dimitri. So if he has a great art with like a shredded body, then I guess all the ladies will go gaga over him and we'll just plus 10 him for sure. <laughs> I mean, you probably saw how the ladies went crazy when they saw Dimitri's jacked body, of course, with that eight pack of abs and his uh, really muscular arms and his chest. I mean, girls like buff men, you know? This is why, like, if you play the first Warriors, some of those armor break outfits, like... Ryoma, Ryoma I believe, showed his jack upper body. And then, um... Navar also showed his jacked upper body. And then, uh... What? How many? And Frederick had a really jacked one I mean, as well. How we got to this discussion? Seriously. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of you got a lot of men with their amazing jacked bodies, though. So, so I mean, you know, ladies and men love them. You know, we all love buff men, of course. <laughs> Oh, so come on, Faye. You know, uh, <laughs> so yeah, come on, Faye. Show us more jacked men. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, anyway, so this banner oh, is gonna on, drop on the seventh, uh, which oh. is three days away. Leon you know is gonna be that? the four star. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait the next year for Sumer oh. ask. Of what? Oh Summer ask. Just wait for the next year. Oh, oh. Ask. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I, yeah, I look kind of like that. Anyway. Oh. Also, you, one thing that's funny about this band, it actually comes out on my birthday. Hey, this nice. Is a, this, is a, this is a very good yeah, band. Birthday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh I gotta say, um, yeah, well, there you go, guy. There's our impression on the second summer banner. So, a very interesting banner with some very interesting units, of course. So, what are your thoughts on this banner? Leave them down in the comments below. And if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see it, me do... Hold it, hold it, hold it. I oh, also, sorry, what's I up? We, I don't know if we're almost done with this, but I also wanted to ask... I tried asking you earlier, but I want to ask this. What do you guys think about the newest uh, QB? I haven't seen it, Bill. Oh you my. What? I the, newest seen it. Q the newest oh, uh, QB oh, yeah, that's, uh, for I, the next uh, Tempest Trial story, folks. Oh, I, see, I haven't seen I, it. I haven't seen it yet. You need to wow. see it. It's very interesting. It's very cool. Yeah, because there's there's quite a bit of stuff in that uh, in that episode that. I mean, it's kind of like letting loose a little bit from the actual book three story, but also at the same time, it's kind of hinting at something. I just know it. Yeah, and this Tempest Trials is going to begin that story. Yep, it is, and I can't wait for it, which means also at the same time, Ascended Air is going to be showing up. Sometimes oh, yeah, soon. she'll show up at some point. Yeah. Oh, man, that's Freaking tears in my eyes. <laughs> so yeah, go be sure to go check that out. All right, yeah. Anyway, um, if you haven't checked out that chibi video about you know the book three units, better go check that out because uh, it's really good and uh, it'll definitely get your blood pumping for uh, what's about what the next story is continuation, of course. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah, like I said, if you like, if you enjoy my content, please like, share, and subscribe. You want to see me do more of these impressions and summons. And then, with that being said, I will see you all in our next video. <clears throat> so, thank you so much for watching, and it's your boy, the G Fly, signing out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>